This is a fan-generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazov.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All your support is greatly appreciated. Good evening. Welcome to the Jamie Glazoff Moment. Tonight, Hillary's Maoist humiliation session. I think a lot of you know by now, but if you don't, uh, Trump's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame was uh, destroyed or, you know, sledgehammered by a certain Hillary supporter. And there was a homeless black woman that, you know, tried to defend Trump's star afterwards. And uh, there's a video there, if you haven't seen it by now, of Hillary supporters attacking this homeless black woman for trying to defend uh, Trump's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And uh, in this video, you know, look it up, homeless woman attacked by Hillary supporters. Um, and, you know, they attack her, then she's laying on the ground and they're taunting her and jeering her and harassing her. And, uh, you know, and saying all these sadistic and mean and uh, vicious things. And it's quite a sight to behold. Make sure you watch it if you haven't watched it uh, by now. I want to say two things about it, two thoughts that came to my mind. Imagine if Trump supporters had attacked a homeless black woman and it was on video. And this homeless black woman is laying on, on the ground and Trump supporters are surrounding her after attacking her and jeering her and taunting her and yelling at her. This would be, I would say, on MSNBC and CNN, it would probably be played 24 hours a day for several weeks, months, maybe even years. Um, it would be on the front page of the New York Times, of the Washington Post. Um, leftists would be sobbing and crying. But it appears that black lives really don't matter to the left if the people whose lives these are do not have the right political ideology, do not have the right political faith. What a double standard here. I know many people that don't even know anything about this. When a homeless black woman is attacked by Hillary supporters and taunted and called names and jeered and taunted, uh, nobody's interested. It doesn't matter. It only matters when conservatives and right-wing people do something. And by the way, this is also not the most, the, the best double standard to talk about because you know what? Trump supporters really, and co conservatives and Republicans really wouldn't engage in this behavior anyway. It's only leftists that engage in this kind of behavior. And that's what I want to get to while I was watching this video, what I want to share with you. Watch this video, because those of you who know about the history of the left, and you know about what leftist ideas and socialist ideas have spawned and engendered in their earthly incarnation, the monstrosities that they've spawned, you will see something very, very frightening and familiar here. While I was watching this video, and you see the people surrounding her and yelling at her and putting her down, you know, I thought about the Mao, Mao's Cultural Revolution. And if you read up on, if you're not familiar with it, read up on the Cultural Revolution and the shaming, humiliation sessions that they would have when the Red Guards and when the communist students and when the revolutionaries would humiliate their teachers and, and the enemies of the state in public. And, you know, the, the hats they made them wear, the, the way that they painted their faces. And, you know, those are the most benign examples. But there were humiliation sessions. There were recrimination sessions. Uh, just monstrous, monstrous behavior in the Cultural Revolution of what they did to the enemies of the state, to the people who had committed thought crimes, to the people who needed to be re-educated. And this is the foundation. This was the foundation for the purges, for the massacres. Um, when, you, when you watch the Cultural Revolution videos and, and read the history of how they engaged in, this, in these recrimination, humiliation sessions, you see that this is just the beginning in terms of what the killing fields end up being, in terms of the Khmer Rouge, in terms of Stalinism, in terms of the Castro killing fields as well. And so when you watch this video of this homeless black woman being jeered and taunted by these leftists who are recriminating her for not having the right thoughts, for not having the right beliefs, it's a really, really frightening thing to behold. 
And this is what the left was all of, is all about, has been all about. And it's a warning, ladies and gentlemen, because this is how it begins. It begins with these recrimination, taunting, jeering, humiliation sessions. And uh, if the left can capture more and more power, then we see Maoism. Then we see Pol Pot. Uh, it's all just one string of from dot to dot to dot. What socialism does to the enemies of the state, to those who commit thought crimes. Really an ugly thing. And shame on the media. Shame on our media for not covering this and for being outraged by it. And uh, once again, it's uh, Black Lives Only Matter uh, if supposedly uh, a conservative or uh, a white police officer uh, might do something. But in, in, in all other cases, black lives don't matter to the left, including when a homeless black woman is laying on a sidewalk, being attacked and jeered by ruthless and sadistic Hillary supporters. We'll see you on the next Jamie Glasoff moment. Good night.